Hi, I got an email from Merrick Dorsich from Slovakia and his daughter had a question. And the question was, what would the earth look like if the water was land and the land was water? That's a pretty good question, right Sparrow? So Sparrow and I are gonna try to make a map that does that. Here we have a bathymetric layer from Gebco. Deepest part of the ocean, Challenger Deep over here. Tallest part of the Earth's mountains is the Himalayas over here. How do I just flip this inside out? Well, in the imagery tab, there's a set of tools called raster functions and they are the best. And there's one of them called negate. And if I mouse over this, it just says, hey, it just multiplies everything by negative one, flipping everything inside out. That's exactly what we want to do, right Sparrow? Yeah. So I'll open negate. I'll point it to my elevation and bathymetry layer. It's a geo tiff, by the way. And I'm just gonna hit run. Boom, done. I've just turned the world inside out. It kind of looks like an x-ray. Kind of looks neat, huh? Mm -hmm. Now I can open up this color scheme and instead of black to white for this reversed thing, I'm going to open this up and I'm gonna format the color scheme and I'm gonna give myself a lot of room here. And I'll add in a color stop and through trial and error, Sparrow and I have figured out that if we put it at 37, that's the break between water and land. So I'm gonna go with this deep fur green here and right next to it, I'll do this. What's a good color for a light ocean? This one? Okay, yeah. good idea. And then the deepest part of the ocean will make it dark, 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 dark blue, almost black. We'll open this up and actually make it even darker. Come to the hue saturation value. And then we can just pull this way down to almost black. Hit OK. Now we've got ocean. We've got a pretty good land. Let's open this up. I'm just going to push this a little further. Just like this, we've made our own bathymetry and elevation color scheme all in one go. I'll hit OK. Oh, and I want to take percent clip off right now because it's chopping off some percentage of the min and max of this elevation data set. I want to use the full range of data set, so I'll just go minimum, maximum. And now we've got something kind of inverted looking. Oceans are land, land are oceans, but let's put this in 3D. You want to put it in 3D, Sparrow? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll close this and I'll go into the view tab and choose convert. Do you want to do this little globe looking one? That looks right. Yeah, that looks like it's gonna be good. Oh, okay, we've got a globe. Now, if I zoom in on it, the oceans are sticking up like mountains still. We need to switch how this 3D looks. But let's exaggerate this a little bit so we can get some real extreme bumpiness, okay? I'll go to the appearance with the ground layer selected. I'm gonna vertically exaggerate 30 times. Whoa, now I see mountains, but it's where I want them to be oceans. What do I do? Are we stuck? Nah. No, we're never stuck. I'll turn this off, World Elevation Service, and I'm gonna make a copy of my inverted elevation data. I'll copy it, paste it, and I'm gonna drag it into the elevation services. Hey, does that look right? Yep. Now we've got land that's going up and oceans that are going down. We've just created an inside out world where the tall mountains are deep oceans and where the deep oceans are tall mountains. I think this is kind of a neat way of understanding our crazy world. That's so pretty. Ooh, look at this. Go over there. Okay, look at this. Now go back where you were. I saw something cool. Okay. Doesn't that look like a, kind of like a leaf? Yes, it does. The Hawaiian Islands are now little Hawaiian pools. Whoa. Yeah. Okay, what's, what do you see that's interesting? This. Oh yes, that is Greenland. The Greenland, which is a like huge island spikes. covered in ice and has spikes right at the edge. And now the mountains of Greenland are an ocean of Greenland. And the water that goes up to Greenland now looks like little spikes of land, right? Yeah. Hey, 
You should go down there. Okay. This. It looks so little. T- it looks like little tiny houses and towns. It does. It looks like a little long thin mountain, like a snake. Yeah, and, and in between it, it looks like little tiny towns and mountains. You're right. I agree. I could see Smurfs living there. This is the Atlantic Ridge. It's under sea, and it's a deep underground dark trench. But because we turned everything inside out, now it looks like mountains. Now that we turned it inside out, it actually is mountains. Yes. And what happens to the deep parts of the ocean when we turn it inside out? Um, it turns into really, really big land. Yes, that's exactly right. Yeah, like this. Yep. Whoa, look at this big blue deep area. That used to be a super big mountain. Yes. This was the Himalaya Mountains. Now it's the Himalaya Ocean. That's how tall they are, except now they're deep. Sometimes the best way of thinking about something is to imagine the opposite of it. And also, like, a person couldn't even fit their body in there without sinking. Oh, they'd sink. I sure would. Yeah. Do you want to find the deepest part of the ocean? Which would now look like the tallest mountain? Definitely this. Look at this. This. (gasps) Look at these. Crazy. Look at this one. This one's bigger than all of them. Whoa. Can Whoa. you imagine climbing to the top of that? <gasps> that would be scary. I would slip off every single time I tried. That would be way too slippery. And also, when my feet would get on there, they would get cut in half. They might. It looks like a pretty sharp mountain. That's Challenger Deep inside the Mariana Trench, but now the Mariana Trench is the Mariana Mountains, and Challenger Deep is Challenger Tall. Well, thank you for following along and watching how to turn the Earth inside out, making mountains into oceans and oceans into mountains. Was that fun, Sparrow? Yeah. What was the best part? Um. The big mountain at the end, it was so big. Yes, Challenger Mountain. Yes. That was fun. Thanks for helping me. Mm -hmm. Love you. Love you too.